this is Frank Caprio and today we're going to talk about flange orientation on metal hoses and expansion joints. When you put flanges on one of these units, you can either attach them by welding them to either end of the assembly, which was referred to as a fixed flange, or they can be rotating on a properly designed stub end or vanstone connection, which we refer to as a floating flange. That allows you to rotate the flange to mate it up to the uh, mating piping connections. Short assemblies like this are very often ordered with fixed flanges on each end, flanges welded to both ends of the hose, and when we're doing this, you have to make sure that these flanges are aligned properly from end to end. That's referred to as rotational orientation. There's two methods in industry to do this, but actually only one of them is correct, so we're going to talk about that today. They're referred to as either the one-hole method or the two-hole method. And they're just that. With the one-hole method, you align one hole, a bolt hole on one end of the unit, with one bolt hole on the other end of the unit. And as long as they're in alignment, then that meets the one-hole requirement. However, most industry standards refer to something that we refer to as a two-hole method. ANSI and other standards call it out that way. And basically what that means is when aligning the bolt holes from end to end, those bolt holes must straddle a common center line. We're often asked, what is that center line? And if the hose is installed with the flanges vertical like this, then that center line is 12 o'clock. And those bolt holes must straddle that center line equally good way to measure that is to put bolts through these bolt holes, set a level on it, and once you level that out, you know that that straddles that center line equally. If it's a horizontal flange where the hose is installed up and down and the flange face is horizontal, then that center line must straddle something referred to as plant north, which basically has to do with which way the building's facing. The best thing to do is to ask, because if for any reason this hose or expansion joint has to be twisted to get it into its installation, that torsional stress is not good for the life expectancy of that unit. Surefire way to avoid that is to put a floating flange on one or both ends, but that's not always practical. Ask your customer what their alignment criteria is, and we'll make sure to match it on our end. Once they are aligned from end to end, the industry standards require that those bolt holes be aligned within one eighth of center line, which basically means we have a sixteenth of an inch for these and another sixteenth of an inch for the mating connections to add up to that total offset of no more than an eighth of an inch. If you have any other questions, give us a call. We'll be happy to help you out. Thanks.